Hello everyone, I'm Caroline, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do the Rising Phoenix bracelet by Claire's Wears. This um, is an original design by Claire, and um, she has a hook-only tutorial out there on YouTube already. Um, and this is a translation onto two long pegs. Um, you do need long pegs for this because otherwise you have too many bands to keep track of. They'd be all smushed together. So you can use your fingers or two pencils or two chopsticks or two pens together. Or um, you can do what I have done, which is um, snip off. I'm going to move these out of the way now. Is to snip off the um, pegs from one mini loom and attach them to the top of the pegs <clears throat> from another mini loom. Um, I You just put the uh, plastic over a candle flame until it gets uh, soft and melty, and then you just smush them together, um, and then take, take them out of the flame and smush them together, and uh, when the plastic cools, it'll be melted together. So um, this works really well for me, along with a metal hook. The metal hooks um, are skinnier than the plastic hooks, so they work a bit better for this. So I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so I'm down on the white and we'll get started. So I'm gonna do basically the same color combination as Claire did on this bracelet. She used the Carnival Mix colors which um, have white on the bottom of the color but I'm gonna do just solid regular rubber bands so that um, you get some really good high contrast and you can really see where the colors are. Um, so let's get started. So first you're gonna put on your outside, oh, let me say, um, to do this bracelet, you do first one side of the black, then the other side of the black. Then you go back in and you do the colors on one side and then the colors on the other side. And actually, um, this is the center, so you actually, you go, you go, or I could hold it like this and that would maybe make more sense. Um, so you start here and go up, and then you go back to here and go up, then you start here in the middle with the red and then work this way and then go back this way and then connect to go on to your next. So um, we're, we're gonna get started with three black bands on your loom. You're gonna cross the first one and then just place two more black ones. This is your outside color. So there's our crisscross and our next one and then our next one. And to keep all my bands organized, and so I know what I'm doing, what I like to do is count out my bands. You're gonna need five more black bands for each side. So here's my black bands for one side. Here's my black bands for the other side over here, five in each pile. And then you're gonna need one red, two pink, two yellow, two green, and two blue for my colors on the inside. And so that way, it's really easy to keep track of, oh, have I done my five? Have I not done my five? So we're gonna start with five on one side. So I'm gonna constantly loop from this side because that's just how I tend to do it. Um, and then I'll just, you know, flip my loom around to do the other side. So I need five bands. I'm gonna place my band. Oh, I take that back. First, I'm gonna loop my crisscross band. There we go, looped crisscross band. Now I have two black bands to, on each side of my pegs. And I'm going to put place a black and loop one side only. Place a black, I got it from this side and loop that same side only. I'm gonna do that till I finish with my five bands. And this is number four. Get down there, you. And this is number five. Okay, now you'll notice that 
or recollect that you started with two bands loose on this side. Um, and so we need to put all of these back onto this side except for the bottom two that we started with. So I am going to flip it over to do that. So, and I'm going to move them two at a time because I can. Boy, my camera is just not focusing very well, is it? It's just so blurry. Let me have to try this again. So I've got my move two now. Okay, now I've moved four. And here I am moving my fifth one. And now you can see I have my um, cap band here in the middle, loose. And I have two bands on this side left. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my other set of five bands, and I'm going to loop from this side only. So here's one loop, two loop, three loop, four loop, five, loop. Okay, now I gotta move my five bands back onto this peg, so I'm gonna flip it around to do that. And I'm gonna move them two at a time again, so here's one and two. If I could extricate my hook. There we go. One and two, uh-oh, they cross their order. Yeah, you do want to try and keep the order of the bands the same. So there's two, and then here's three and four, and here's five right here. So now I've got it back so that my cap band is loose in the middle here, and I have seven black bands on each peg and now we're going to start with the colors. You're going to start with the red. And you're going to loop the top black on both sides. Jibajump. Bajump. And now these other colors, we're going to loop only on one side. So I'm going to loop this side only. So I'll start with my pink one. And loop the top black only. Then I'm going to put on my yellow. And now I'm going to take off the bottom color and the top black. So I'm going to loop my red and the top black. And now I'm going to put on my green and loop the pink. And the top black. And now I'm going to put on my blue. And I'm going to loop the yellow and the top black. All right. So now I have green blue on the top and black black on the bottom of that peg. And I think those are switched. Yeah. I think so. Okay. So now I got to move the blue, green, yellow, and pink back to the other side. So here's green, blue. My hook is caught. Okay, green, blue. Yellow, pink. And I'm leaving my red over there because remember we looped the red with black on both sides. And now we're going to repeat that looping this side only. So I'm going to start back with my pink and I'm going to loop the top black only. And then I'm going to put on my yellow and loop the bottom red and the top black. Then I'm going to put on my green, loop the bottom color, which is pink, and the top black. And then put on my blue, 
and again loop the bottom color which is yellow and the top black and then I gotta move all my colors back onto this peg so I'm gonna turn it around because that's easiest for me so there's the blue and the green and the yellow and the pink okay so now I should have two blacks green blue blue green yellow and pink on one on each side two blacks green blue blue green yellow pink and now I'm gonna loop them off to form the circle -y part to, to bring it together so I need a this takes three blocks I think um, so we're gonna put on one and loop all of the colors and the bottom black on both sides so yellow pink green blue blue green bottom black push that puppy down I actually I pushed it down and through and same on this side pink yellow green blue green blue blue green whatever bottom black okay and now I'm pulling it out and now I'm gonna put on another black and I'm gonna loop the bottom black on both sides and that completes our sequence um, let me go ahead and do that sequence for you again so we need five blacks for each side so I'm gonna count them out three four five one two three four five one red two pink two yellow two green two blue and this is how I do it just to keep them straight because otherwise I seem to just lose track I'm gonna scoot my camera a little bit okay so that I can hold it here because that seems to be more comfortable okay so I'm going to um, put my blacks on on one side and loop only on one side so I'm gonna be looping the bottom black so there's the first black second black third black fourth black fifth black and now I'm going to move those five blacks back onto the empty peg so here's the first two I like to move them two at a time because um, they fit in my hook and they generally will stay in the same order that I had them so here's three and four and here is five and now I'm going to do that same thing on the other side and I'm going to loop from this peg only so here's one nope that was the top black one I can't grab it there you go two three four five and I'm gonna loop and now I'm gonna move those five bands back from here over to here one two three four five Okay, now you should have seven black bands on each side. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to put on the colors. And we're going to start with a red one. And we're going to loop the top black on both sides. And we're going to leave the red one where it is. It's not going to move between pegs. It's going to stay. But the others are going to move. So here's the pink one. Pink one's next. We're going to loop the top black only. And we're only hooking from this side. We're going to put on the yellow. And this time we're going to hook the bottom red, the bottom color, which is red, and the top black. Green, same story, bottom color, which is pink, and top black. And then blue, same story, bottom color, which is yellow, and the top black. And then we have to move the colors from this side back onto this side, all except red. So here's blue, green. And now we have yellow, pink. Okay, and now we have to put on the colors to this side. So we're gonna hook only from this side this time. So pink, loop the top black only. Yellow. And now notice this, we have three colors on this side, so now we're gonna start to loop the colors. So we're gonna loop the bottom color, which is red, and the top black. Then we're putting, gonna put on our green one. And again, bottom color, which is pink, and top black. And then we're gonna put on our blue one. And we're gonna loop our bottom color, which is yellow, and our top black. And then we gotta move the top colors back onto this side. So here is green, blue. If I could get my hook in there. Green, blue, and yellow, pink. Come on, yellow, pink, there we go. So now you should have two blacks, and then we have green, blue, blue, green, and then yellow, pink. And on the, same, on the other side, the same thing, two blacks, green, blue, blue, green, yellow, pink. And now we're going to tie them together. So here's, we're gonna put on one black and we're gonna loop all of the colors and the bottom black on both sides. So here's yellow, pink, green, blue, blue, green, bottom black. Same on the other side. Yellow, pink, green, blue, blue, green, bottom black and I'm gonna tug it out. And then one more black, and I'm gonna loop the bottom black only. And that brings you back to the beginning of a sequence. So then you can put on your five blacks on each side. And uh, I am going to suggest that you go back to the beginning of the video, or maybe to this point in the video, and repeat that as many times as you need to in order to complete your bracelet. But there you have it, Rising Phoenix by Claire's Wears on two long pegs. See you next time.